if we have seen uh, a number of forces acting in a body and uh, I have given two uh, previous examples of uh, uh, how to solve a problem uh, when a force is, is towards the body or a force is away from the body and with the use of uh, say your uh, zero degree whatever it is the quadrant one two three and four we have seen number of forces acting and in that uh, different uh, directions of forces which is possible and few problems we have seen so you will have to follow that steps very carefully uh, without making a mistake because those basics will be very important to solve questions till unit number 5 so that you will have to do that and uh, any problem when you are solving the calculations is must as well as the symbol is very very important I mean to say the sign convention either you are taking a plus or minus based on the forces which is moving towards right or left or to the up or down so please keep that in mind and now the next topic is I will be moving off to something called vectors again uh, this is your uh, I can say it is basic mathematics vectors it is under that you have two things before going to vectors I can say a quantity something called scalar quantity and as such you studied in mathematics scalar and vectors are different in terms of mechanics ok I will just speak scalar quantity and before that going to what is scalar and what is vector when I speak about force ok force is something which is based on the load applied for example I have a body I say this is body A right a force is applied to this body a force is applied maybe in any direction right and this force will have some weight it's in sense in terms of newtons I can say 10 newton is there a 10 newton is the force weight amount of force applied and where it at what direction it is applied is second question it is applied in direction of either inclined or exactly horizontal or vertical that we have already seen and so we have solved our problems also and this meaning of scalar quantity this means when a force is applied to a body if we are bothered only about the magnitude of the force magnitude means only the value I can even draw you know, graphically I will just take this is the total length of the I can say the value of the force in terms of uh, okay, length I can say centimeters and this I will write it as magnitude magnitude is a value either in terms of converting into terms of centimeters I can say this is some 5 centimeters as an example and this is the magnitude and what is the direction it is moved direction is based on say I take this point it is moving on right direction or left direction so if I am concerned about only the magnitude value the amount of force applied magnitude alone it becomes scalar quantity scalar quantity is the one we study only about the magnitude of the force and if you are bothered about the direction also we are going to study about this magnitude as well as direction means it becomes a vector quantity I again repeat the scalar and vector quantity such as mathematics it is same in terms of mechanics we are talking about applied uh, force a uh, force is applied and the direction when it, what it travels so if we are bothered only about the value of the force that is magnitude alone it is called as scalar quantity and we are analyzing about the magnitude of the force that is the value of the force as well as in which direction it travels maybe up or down on inclined whatever it is it becomes the direction also then it is called vector quantity so I can write a scalar quantity is 1 
ఓన్లీ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ అండ్ వెక్టర్ క్వాంటిటీస్ వన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ బోత్ మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ అండ్ డైరెక్షన్ magnitude as well as direction this is the difference right and coming to the different types of your vector operations it's just like your normal mathematics the addition subtraction multiplication all this okay so i'll just uh, start with one is addition then number 2 is your subtraction subtraction and number 3 is multiplication then something called uh, dot product all are same It comes under that there is a cross product so like this you have four or five uh, different types of vectors which we have to study and as basically we studied in mathematics the addition subtraction multiplication dot product everything which will given value which is called resultant see the ultimate aim is we are finding out a resultant for a force applied that is a work total mechanics what we are studying is if a body is in static condition or in moving condition and is statics or dynamics we are finding or analyzing to find out what is the resultant value the resultant value should be such that it keeps the body in equilibrium condition equilibrium means there should not be any vibrations or unwanted disturbance disturbances or i can say there should not be an imbalance so that the body is moving properly that is the main aim and uh, for which you need a resultant force and instead of writing resultant i can write resultant resultant force that's it so all these works it is basic mathematics still is available so many answers are available in the book or questions are available it is to find out the resultant force only in what way addition you are just adding two vectors i can say for example a vector is 3 you can say 3i and b vector is suppose 4j you will be write in terms of i j k this i j k is nothing but your unit vectors basic mathematics or vector what you studied in plus 1 as well as even in general also vectors this unit vectors are called i j k the value it says it's one unit means one value so is your addition you just adding these vectors you write seven subtraction you are remin- uh, um, reducing it or dot product you are multiply all this goes but everything should be indicated in terms of a graphical representation because whatever the forces are acting it is considered to be acting in space in the sense you just consider a normal area for which we can write in terms of a graph i just take uh, this x direction this y and this is z direction in these three directions i can go for any plane which i am interested to i can go for xy plane this becomes xy i go for yz plane then yz and zx plane a body may be moving in any three planes you will have number of planes other than this which is perpendicular to this one one plane suppose this is your xy plane perpendicular to this plane will be in opposite this direction okay and parallel to this another plane can be there so that n number of planes is possible but as basically x y y z and z x right so the body may be in any place here we call it as the vectors or the body is moving in a space when a body is traveling in space from one point to other point what are all the forces incurred i'm sorry that incur it is incurred and what is we are either we are adding the forces in terms of addition or we subtracting the forces in terms of subtraction are we multiplying the forces that is the question here for this all you basically need something called unit vector unit is something with one value ijk and ijk are also all this it's a representation of this graph i can say i'll just take one point this point is p from this point o o is called origin point 
origin means starting of the force from this point it goes like this and just take a length of this length in the sense from point o at some direction of say some of theta some value the body is traveling from o to this point p and this total length i'll take it as a radius r vector right so anything i will have to represent in terms of length or radius you know this parameter should be very important so this i'll take it as length is r and this r i'll say it as position vector okay so this position vector decides the what is the position of that particular body or the point where the force is acting and since a body the point is here that means the force point is here i can have a distance between this perpendicular distance from x value x axis i can have a distance from y axis and from z axis also but this z axis distance i cannot measure it here because z axis is always in this direction see x is here horizontal y is here vertical z will be always in this direction so from here i have to measure though we are representing this is your normal drawing because you already done drawing in first uh, semester you will better understand so this z is always shown in this direction so from this this direction what is the distance of this point the we have to imagine so we are concerned about this direction and this distance from x from y and from z we are trying to find out again a resultant force with the applied number of forces to a body and again i can repeat it comes either in terms of addition subtraction multiplication or using dot product or cross product all these values all these finally gives to an answer as resultant force right so this one this position vector is very very important because this will divide i mean uh, decide where is actual a body is and for example i'll just consider you know a common example to better for you just you think you have a a switch board you know a common electrical switch board this is the normal switch board it is meant for you there are some uh, four or five points either to a tube light or to one some other connection a fan etc suppose you consider you have a let's a bedroom you need to have a bed switch what will you do either you have a you will make a new switch board nearby your you know the cot where you place it or from the particular point you will have a plug point there you will just take out a wire see it's a practical example which you have to imagine and it's very easy to understand also and that wire what will you do from that plug point you will just push it from the plug point the wire at the test if the plug point is you know the socket is like this the wire has to come to this level this is an horizontal point then as you take it it will bend and it will come to a suppose i am just standing here just consider this is a room this my bed is here i just want to put a bed switch nearby so if my you know the plug point is in left hand side from there at a distance of suppose 1 may you know 1.5 meters or 2 meters i just pull a wire from there it comes i will taking it towards you no know, it's our idea to keep it it's not disturbed to the either to the entrance point or uh, to the walking places we'll take it to the corner and to the top of the corner we'll come to the edge of this you know the wall and bring it down see it's very simple when we take it but whether that wire which is pulled with the amount the weight of the wire or the area where it is covering all this and finally you fix a switch on that right the wire bottom will be switch then you will just on it or off it based on your requirement so all this can be shown in terms of a space required and in this terms of a plane x and y to indicate a point where a force is applied what i mean to say if i have a body in any plane suppose here i'll just measure this distance or this distance or this distance as well as z axis this particular distance i can calculate this height and this again length and one more this depth all this together i can calculate and say that how much weight is required so that my design is perfect in the sense 
the resultant value or resultant force with your magnitude and direction should be equal or it should be in, in equilibrium condition so that the switch which you are connecting nearby your bed I mean bed switch that should be balanced okay because you are just making an extra connection from a point taking it to a corner and keep it and say for example if you open the door also to the air you know, when the, the air is blowing it should not either hang on to one side or should not oscillate these are very simple ideas wherein we are just calculating in a force in the space this is very basic idea if you go to a better example you know the uh, I can say a technical example any body which is traveling or which is being thrown I can say this tack piece cycle go from one point to the point in every point from your horizontal level to keep on the inclination where it is traveling you can calculate the force incurred or force which is in opposite direction due to air etc etc all this comes under this vector or this adding by all these resultant values you find out an answer that is the purpose of studying your vectors and scalars wherein you are studying about actually to speak it's about force or forces in space that means what are all the forces incurred for a body when it is in space under that all these topics will come so you have two or three problems or a number of some problems in the book which it, even it's for two marks three marks just for if it's an addition alone it will be two marks a subtraction like that or if you have to find out a position vector first then go for resultant vector I can say and right here resultant vector as well as your unit vector psi j k etc that makes an eight marks question that depends on the question you are answering right? the, the value will be four this is what you are studying in vectors so the difference between this part of your mechanics studies and the previous one what we studied about forces or the equilibrium conditions is bit difficult I mean different in the sense there we are worried about the values we are not worried about the vector values there here everything is based of addition subtraction multiplication etc there we are just considering the amount of force and its direction either it is towards the body or away from the body because we are defined in a small area like this we take 0 degree 90 degree 80 degree I mean it's 180 270 and 360 based on your four quadrants we will be studying that what we have seen previously and this is totally depend on this work I mean addition subtraction multiplication dot product etc and wherein the position vector resultant and unit vectors are playing very important role to find out a resultant that we will see two problems you will better understand how we are getting the resultant force in by using either addition or subtraction or multiplication and why do we why what is the requirement of finding an position vector or a unit vector okay that we will see in the problem